Let's start episode two, Ford Mavericks that are arriving at dealers. Finally, we have some hybrids actually showing up at dealers and they are showing up with spray and bed liner. I think it actually caused her about a one month delay because she was stuck at the body shop for a month and that's probably an issue with the bed liner. So even though Ford's saying there's space for it, I think that Mary got a month uh, space, delay. but a little delay. <laughs> a little delay. So love that red but color. I'm happy with that. Now this is a red hybrid XLT luxury with bed liner. It's a pre-order from February 1st, 2022. And it is a September, then September order confirmed and enrolled because, you know, I, I did that work. So it was done right first for day one, September order confirmed and enrolled of 2022. Then it was built the 14th of February and delivered the 17th of March. Mm. A lot of my dealers, Mavericks, were basically built the same day or within a few days of each other so it, it's starting to make me think that dealers kind of do have okay now it's this dealer's turn so that can play a part but the most important thing is find a dealer that is going to enroll and is going to confirm your order and that knows what they are doing knowing about what's constrained makes a huge difference on when you get your maverick or your bronco and of course i like ordering we like ordering from Ford. We are, mm -hmm. We've always been Ford fans. Uh, you order, you get your price reserved. So that was the red one. Now let's just go back here. That's We just covered the red one here. Now let's talk about the next Maverick we got in. And this is the Hybrid XLT Luxury. So that's the one right after. It's this white one here. So the white one popping up on the screen, I'll move my big old head. <laughs> so that is a hybrid XLT luxury with Copilot 360. Mm. That was ordered December 15th, 2022. Wow. Uh, sorry, 2021. Okay. My, my <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's so yeah, that was ordered a little <laughs> bit past yours. So that was a December 15th, 2021 and confirmed and enrolled October 19th, 2022. Now the confirmed and enrolled later um, because dealers still get their allotments, a certain amount of allotments. So if the whole dealership generally put them in a little bit later, at least in Canada, you, you weren't completely burnt. And I was saying this back like, hey, you know, if your dealer doesn't put it in, you know, rate day one, even if they put it in day three or day four, as long as they're putting all theirs in all at once, ideally they put them in as quick as possible, but at least in Canada, it worked out that, you know, confirmed on the 19th and it still came in. So good news there. Now, the rest of the story behind this one is it was confirmed and enrolled October 19th, 2022. And it, 12 days from entering the factory, sorry, it took 12 days from when it entered the factory to when it was actually produced. So February 10th, it was sent to the plant. This would be now in 2022. The 16th, it was sent to the body shop and then trim line the 21st. So 12 days uh, from when it went into the factory and it being done. It was officially produced the 22nd of February and then uh, February 26th, it was shipped. Arrived in Illinois, March 5th. Of course, it had a slight little stall in Arizona. Hers got stalled in Arizona for weeks, but it was probably just an error in the system, or maybe it actually got stalled in Arizona, but, you know, the, the transport was a little, little long on Marie's, but on this one, March 5th, it was in Illinois, arrived in Canada and at the dealer for the 17th of March. Now, if we go back, we've got our third one to talk about here. So we did the red, we did the white, so now right after the white, we've got that blue XL with Copilot 360. So it is a hybrid. So sorry, skip right past here <laughs> and get right on topic here. We got this blue one, as you can see from the tailgate, you've got a nice little hybrid hybrid there and it actually has Copilot 360 and a hitch. And that's a standalone hitch. It's not a luxury package. So the hitch didn't seem to cause it too many problems now. It was ordered October, 2022 and balanced out Sorry, that'd be October 2021. And then it balanced out January 12th, 2022. So balanced out, it realized we're not going to be making this. Move on. It's going to turn into a 23. It was then confirmed as a 2023 on October 13th. 
and January 12th, 2023, scheduled to the week of February 13th. Again, you've got all our Mavericks getting built basically right around the 13th and 14th. So January 12th, 2023, it was scheduled to the week of February 13th. So it was getting vehicles were getting scheduled, these Mavericks, one month and one day later. So generally early January for February scheduling according to the system. Now, January 12th, 2023, scheduled to the week of February 13th. January 28th, scheduled to the day of the 16th. So it got, you know, it goes from being vehicles at Ford go from being scheduled the week of to a specific day. And then if you're unlucky, it can get pushed. This one, well, January 28th, scheduled to the day of the 16th. February 10th, it was sent to the plant. So it didn't get pushed. February 15th, sent to body shop. So implant, then body shop, five days, produced February 20th. So another five days. So 10 days and released, officially released. So someone typed in, it's done, it's ready on the 21st of February. And then February 26th, it was in transit and shipped. It didn't sit around for a month like yours, Marie, but guess what? It doesn't have a spray and bed liner. I want to wonder if that has anything to do with it. So it straight off, basically, <laughs> someone raised their hand on the 21st, said it's ready to go. And then the 26th, it was in transit and shipped. The 27th, made it to Arizona. March 5th, gate uh, at the Gateway in Illinois. Or, sorry, it's called Gateway, Illinois. I don't know why anyone would call a place Gateway. Um, um, <laughs> unless it's a gateway to Hades. But anyways, get... Hopefully this is a really nice place, but it's called Gateway, <laughs> Illinois. Seems devilish to me, but March 7th, Chicago. March 17th, showed up at the dealer. Now, let's talk about J57P. So, J7, J57P is an XL EcoBoost with 4K towing that came in. It was ordered September 29th, 2022. And it's confirmed, it's a confirmed order and enrolled, uh, accepted on the 19th of October. So for just for the system to finally say, yeah, we have it, everything's enrolled, everything's confirmed. There is a bit of a delay there. January 12th, scheduled to the week of February 6th. January 13th, scheduled to the day of February 10th. So schedules it down to a more precise time. January 27th, scheduled to the week of the 13th of February, and the and then on January 28th, scheduled to the day of the 17th. So it got pushed around. Sent to the plant, actually, in the end, on the 10th of February. <laughs> so whatever. And then it was at the body shop, the 16th, and it was produced and released for the 20th of February. So sometimes mm -hmm. something can get pushed back, and then somehow it, you know, passes on its original date anyways. Shipped the 26th. Of February and arrived the 17th of March so we can kind of see from a lot of people have been asking how long from factory to my dealership even with having to deal with a little bit of border delay a, a second border delay of course because they're you know made in Mexico US border and then the Canadian border which mm -hmm. seems to add about a week because they make it to Chicago as you can see and then about a week later uh, they make it here so you know here on the 5th of March, it was Illinois, the 7th, Chicago, then from Chicago, it crosses the border, the 17th, so about 10 days, um, once in Canada, but if you're in the U.S., you can say, what is that, about two to three weeks, and if you're in Canada, three to four weeks. That's good news for Canada. <laughs> Very good news. Now, I've got another one to talk about, and the next one is uh, my, uh, my brother, he ordered one up for a client, and it's a hybrid XLT luxury mm -hmm. with roll-up cover from the factory so that's supposed to be deadly right it's a deadly sin you don't ever do that uh, it ends in immediate divorce with ford and uh, you go live in different houses or apartments depending <laughs> depending on if there's any money for for a house these days house prices i guess it'll be two apartments but it's a hybrid XLT luxury with roll-up cover from factory ordered the 23rd of february 2022 and this is why i was telling people go pre-order at a dealer that takes pre-orders because you're going to be in line with them 
So my, my, my local dealership, that's what they did. They don't didn't want everyone rushing in and having, you know, what is it, a, a couple hundred people within the same two, three, four days uh, fighting. We, they didn't want that, you know, Black Friday madness where people punch each other or run each other over for a TV or they're, you know, a tickle my Elmo, tickle me Elmo, sorry. Um, you know, no ridiculous shenanigans. And they did these pre-orders. Well, here's one that paid off. It actually passed yours. It beat yours and has a darn roll-up cover that we didn't take from the, the order so you're paying it yes a little more because we didn't want to take that risk but here it got produced so you never know the ford can say you know do take bed, uh, spray and bed liners you'll be fine and probably caused a month delay and here you got beaten by someone that ordered way after you and had the exact same build it's a hybrid xlt luxury with roll up from factory which we knew we wanted because it's really nice and they ordered february 23rd 2022 then on november 30th 2022 then the order was i believe confirmed um i have to i'm still waiting for an answer from my brother to know if it really was properly confirmed because ford is saying confirm all your orders but they're still delivering uh, a certain percentage even if they're not confirmed orders in general but i want to find out with the maverick in particular could that work knowing my brother i don't know if he if he had time to actually confirm that but uh, likely likely give him the benefit of the doubt anyways make sure you order from dealers that confirm your orders and enroll them you want to increase your chances now marie i know you have a question and that yeah. works out perfectly in fact it's not the question it's an, uh, an interesting fact peace out with paul uh, just uh, replied to you and said just so you know gateway illinois is referring to the gateway arch in saint louis missouri on the Mississippi River. So the Gateway Arch is uh, considered the gateway to the westward movement in the, I don't know that number <laughs> in English. 1800s. 1800, thank you. See, I, and thank I've you for the fact. <laughs> thank you very much. And I've listened to her say, try to say, you know, 1500 Ram before. So I knew right away we were talking about something in the hundreds. French people <laughs> can't speak math. I'm going to assume they can do math because France at some point, I'm sure they maybe won one or two I wars. I would say 1,800. <laughs> France wins battles, they, then they lose wars, but... Oh, John. It's because it's they can't do the math. They can't keep their troops fed Be kind. or clothed. I cook you dinner. Be kind. <laughs> you keep me clothed and you wash my clothes and you feed me. So I have to be kind. That's so true. It doesn't but matter if I'm, I can I'm, say the number in I'm English. One I do person. all the rest. <laughs> I'm, you do all the rest, but I'm one person. I bet if you tried to do uh, the logistics between, you know, hundreds of <laughs> of me's. The old-fashioned you, way you for be French to do people it. to say numbers. Yeah. I'm not that... So French people can't say... <laughs> 1800 you know 1800s no, and when 1800 and when i speak french i'll say and people will look at me like i think they're looking you're at me person. like i'm crazy or like no you're just an old this, person this man is not a witch obviously i'm a man but this guy's a wizard like what what <laughs> magical language is he speaking but anywho uh it's it's wonderful it's wonderful always make sure that you meet someone that is compl a complete different culture than you it'll keep things entertaining and you'll always have something to fight about now <laughs> uh, i think you just read a comment no no that's fine no okay. i was laughing at you again oh, okay so great so that concludes episode two mm -hmm. so we've talked about ford mavericks that have actually arrived and some really weird things. Now, we did a whole uh, an episode when you got your Maverick. That's mm -hmm. You can go check that out. We talked about what your Maverick was missing. And here's the big key. Now, we've removed, removed things from our order. And, you know, like we didn't take a roll-up cover because we didn't want it to slow things down. I've yeah. got to say, if you have taken things off, and I, I do still suggest it as a general rule of thumb, take in life, take enough risk to have success but don't take excessive risks well with your maverick order um we didn't want to take excessive risks so we didn't have the roll-up cover and i even got you little door sills your price actually came down after adding those little door sills and uh um the the floor mats but luckily your floor mats we weren't back ordered we had them in stock but the little door sills that say maverick you're gonna get but i should have ordered them in advance and your roll-up cover um 
I don't know if we're talking weeks, days, weeks, or months. It's just back ordered. Yeah, that's so, the accessories that I wanted yeah. to see the most. <laughs> but I if, guess. if you would have ordered it in advance, a nasty dealer would say, You order it in advance, we're not storing this here, pay for it. And then mm-hmm. instead of your bed cover, $1,600 bed cover, and it's probably going to cost you $200 or $400, depending on whether you keep the truck for one or two years, mm-hmm. uh, would have cost you $1,600 and taxes. Yeah, and you cannot. We pay put 15% it in the lease. tax. Yep. Yeah. We here in Quebec, in Quebec, we truly believe that people that work need to make sure they pay for everyone. So if you're mid- middle class, you pay for a lot of stuff. So you get taxed everywhere. And well, 15% tax when you purchase, and then you know, 40 whatever percent income tax. But anywho, that's a different story for a different day. <laughs> but it's important we didn't pay for it in advance. But if a dealer has enough room to stock your part, order it, you know, four, five, six mm-hmm. weeks before your, even order it two months before your Maverick. Go out and order it tomorrow. <laughs> and you never know because my Maverick was supposed to arrive one month before. So uh, we never know if you're going to get your uh, other accessories way before the, the Maverick. Yeah. So I've said, it, I've said it before that I'm wrong. And I also point out when other people are wrong. I did it in a, just last week's live. I'm going to point out here for all you Bronco fans, uh, I like to kind of consider myself joking around saying I'm Johnny Bronco, but I was wrong. 